Alright guys, welcome to your 35th biology video, and in this video, we're going to be going over the Krebs cycle, and it's also called the citric acid cycle. So, what do you want to call it? Just go ahead and take your pick. I'm going to call it the Krebs cycle, because I think that's uh, what more people commonly do. But if you want to call it the citric acid cycle, go ahead. But the important thing is, in the last tutorial, we left, or we ended with pyruvic acid, which is C3. H4O3. And this is pyruvic acid. Now, in order to enter the Krebs cycle, which is a series of chemical reactions, what we need to do is we actually need to prepare this molecule by putting it through a few chemical reactions and changing it up a bit. So basically, whenever we perform glycolysis, or we don't, well, I guess we do do it, you know, our bodies do it, what happens is the entire uh, process is performed in the cytoplasm, but the Krebs cycle is actually performed in the mitochondria. So after glycolysis, these pyruvic acid molecules, remember we have two of them, they head over to the interior of the mitochondria. So remember we said that here's the mitochondria, and this is the outer membrane, and it also has an inner membrane which is right here. Let me draw a cool looking mitochondria. And this stuff in here is called the matrix. And this is a bunch of fluid inside here. So this is right the matrix. And the matrix is actually where the Krebs cycle is going to be performed, but we'll get to that in a second. So basically, after glycolysis, what happens is these pyruvic acid molecules, they head over to the matrix because they want to begin the Krebs cycle. However, on the way, something happens. What happens is a couple enzymes, or actually one enzyme, is going to rip off some of these electrons and it's going to stick them onto a molecule called NAD+. Now this molecule is going to combine with a hydrogen from the environment, but the important thing we have to take away here is this NAD+, is eventually going to become NADH. Now, I'm going to be talking about this molecule NADH a lot, and just remember the places that they're formed, because right now, they aren't very important, you guys don't even know what they are probably, but later on, whenever we talk about the next step after the Krebs cycle, you guys are going to see just how important these are. By the way, here's a little hint, they help to make a freaking ton load of, is a ton load even a word? A ton load of ATPs. So yes, these are very important, even though you know you may not care about them now. So basically, on the way to the matrix, this pyruvic acid helps to convert this NAD plus to NADH, and now, after that, the pyruvic acid is going to enter the inside of the mitochondria or enter the matrix. So let me go ahead and get a new slide. So right now, picture in your brain, we are in the matrix and we have a pyruvic acid. And I'm just going to go ahead and write a little note about right above here because pyruvic acid is a three carbon molecule. Now inside the mitochondria, the first thing that's going to happen is a CO2 is going to get removed. So whenever that happens, we end up with a two carbon molecule. And the two carbon molecule, I'll just write two C, we'll just go ahead and let me pick a color. This is called acetic acid. So that's pretty much the first thing that happens to this pyruvic acid as soon as it enters the mitochondria. So I guess you can look at this little black background I'm working on and pretend that this is the matrix of the mitochondria. The first thing that happens is a CO2 is ripped away from this pyruvic acid and it goes from a three carbon molecule to a two carbon molecule called acetic acid. So that's where we're at right now, acetic acid. So after this, what happens is the acetic acid is going to combine with a molecule called coenzyme A. Coenzyme A. So right now we have your acetic acid right here. It's going to combine with coenzyme A. Whenever you have acetic acid combining with coenzyme A, you end up with a molecule called acetyl CoA. And this is how they write it CoA. And of course, this pretty much means acetic acid, acetyl group, plus CoA stands for coenzyme A. There you go. 
Now, co or excuse me, acetyl CoA, this molecule right here is the molecule that enters the almighty Krebs cycle. So I know we didn't even talk about the Krebs cycle yet, but this is all preparation for the Krebs cycle because in your body, you know, if the Krebs cycle was like the popular hangout, it would be kind of a big deal. It wouldn't let everything in the Krebs cycle. It it is very exclusive. It only allows certain molecules in. It only allows acetyl CoA's in because, you know, they're pretty cool. So in order for a pyruvic acid, which we ended up with in glycolysis, to turn into acetyl CoA, this is the process that it undergoes. And remember that in the meantime, we actually made an N. A D H. So now what happens is our acetyl CoA is ready to enter the Krebs cycle and in the next video I'm going to be taking, well I don't know if I'm going to get through it completely, but I'm going to start talking to you guys through the steps of the Krebs cycle and by the way it is incredibly awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video.